Hi again. Since the release of our Solar Plus Batteries series, we've had a heap of response from clients about batteries. It's fantastic the response we've had and there's a huge amount of inquiry out there about battery systems. So in this video, I'm going to try to address a few of those frequently asked questions that we're getting just to carry on a bit more our dialogue about why batteries, how batteries, what batteries suit me, etc. So you will have seen my other videos where we've said, you know, solar's not for everyone. And that's absolutely the fact. Not everybody suits solar. And much like that, batteries are not for everyone. Solar batteries are fantastic and they have applications where they really can add a lot of benefit. But they're not for every solar customer. Now, if you've got a solar power system and it's doing a great job for you, and you've got a power bill that's now 50 to $80 in the summer or even less. Many of our clients have got no bills in the summer or $20. And if in the winter your bills are up around $100, $150 and again, you know, many of our clients are only 80 bucks. But if you're that consumer, then in all likelihood, batteries are not a sensible solution for you. When you've got to invest in batteries, any meaningful solar battery array is going to cost you between eight and ten thousand dollars. Now, if that takes your power bill by another half, and you maybe your bill's averaging a hundred a month, and now it's only going to be thirty or forty even, at sixty dollars a month saving, it's quite evident that investing eight to nine thousand dollars to save sixty dollars a month just doesn't make sense. It's going to take fifteen to twenty years for those savings to pay off the battery bank. So if that's your reason to consider batteries, just don't do it, it's not worth it. And it's not really likely in the foreseeable short term future that batteries will come down in price enough to actually justify it. And there's some good news clips on the website detailing the prices of graphite, the prices of lithium. And you know, if you do your research, you'll find that it's unlikely solar batteries are going to ever suit the small user that fits that criteria. However, if you have a large power use residence, a business, a farm or similar, and if after the savings we can produce for you from a solar power array, you've still got a $250 to $400 power bill a month, and many people have, then if we can add batteries that cut that down to $50, and so you could save $200 or $300 a month out of your adding batteries, that makes sense. All of a sudden, your savings could be 2,000 or 3,000 a year, and then if you're investing 10 or 12,000 dollars in batteries, it's clear that that's a great financial decision. So again, much like solar, batteries suit some clients, they don't suit others, and we engineer solutions to specifically suit every client. There is no one size fits all. So that's a takeaway from me on batteries. Now. Another reason that many of our clients are considering batteries, especially in Auckland after the recent power outages we've had, is that a battery system can supply you with some emergency power supply. So if you're in a region where power outages are a particular problem, or if you've got a, a personal problem where power is a must, maybe um, my dear old sister is on an oxygen generator and if the power went out for more than half an hour, she would die. So that's a situation where investing in batteries to maintain your power supply is a vital solution. So there are clients for whom an emergency power supply is important enough to invest the eight to nine to ten thousand dollars in a suitable battery bank. Well, when you consider that the cost of adding a generator to your home, a decent generator, not a Bunning special, but if you're going to get like a 5 to 10 kVA generator that can power your house and wire it in with a crossover switch and everything else, it's going to cost five to $8,000 anyway for a generator that's only going to get used in emergency. So if you're spending $8,000 on batteries that are going to benefit you every single day, plus provide you emergency power, that may well make sense to you. So there's other reasons why people buy batteries, so that's something to consider. Now, I'll touch on this though. If what your requirement for batteries is, is an emergency power supply capability, you need to understand that all of the hybrid systems on the market, 
And there's many things being talked about. There's the power wall, for instance, which has got so much hype because Elon Musk and Tesla, fantastic. You know, he's a great marketer. So there's a lot of talk about hybrid systems and batteries. But all of these systems can only supply you with about 14 amps of power in the case of a power outage. That's enough to keep you going. But bear in mind, when you open your fuse board and you've got all those 10 or 20 amp fuses, 14 amps across your whole fuse board is very little power. What we do when we install a hybrid system with a battery bank, we split out from your fuse board a small number of fuses that goes into a separate small fuse board and becomes your emergency power supply circuit. What we can do then is we can identify, for instance, a power circuit that runs maybe to the kitchen that powers your fridge. We could power uh, your water pump. We could run several circuits of LED lights, for instance, and just those vital things, maybe a circuit around your lounge. So the power goes out, your fridge is working, your water pump's working, your TV's working, you can charge your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your internet, of course, vital. That, you know, you've got communications. And that runs separately to the rest of the house. So in a hybrid situation, your emergency power supply is a limited 14 amp supply in nearly every occasion, whether it's um, any of the technologies available. So that's something to consider. However, let's think about our situation of a whole home energy requirement. Now, if you've watched my off-grid power solutions video, which is on uh, the website as well, you will have noted that I talk about using an off-grid system as a UPS. Now, for those who aren't aware a UPS is an uninterrupted power supply. Now many of us have got a little unit under our desk and what happens is that little battery will power your computer and everything if the power goes out. It gives you time to close down your system so the power outage doesn't wreck your gear. That's a small UPS. Now what we're doing at Solar King is we can turn a hardcore off-grid power plant that can power your entire house and we can turn that into a whole home UPS. A whole home UPS can provide up to 15 kilowatts of constant power and power your entire home should the power go down. Now this is a whole different uh, state of technology, it's something we're specialising in. We're fairly unique in having engineered this solution and if this is of interest to you, if your power bill is enough, that it's justified for you to put a system like this in, bear in mind you're looking at $25,000 plus, but it will take out your entire power bill. So if you are in a situation where you've got a $500 power bill plus and you want that autonomy, you want your home to run in its entirety if the power goes out, and you want to be 95% self-sufficient, but still have the grid as your backup, call us or talk to us about our whole home UPS solution. To my knowledge, we're the only people in New Zealand who have engineered this solution. So again, fill the contact form out and submit it. One of us will call you and talk you through that. But that is a great solution in that particular situation. Again, we engineer solutions for your specific need. There is no one size fits all in solar. So if you want a specific solution for a specific energy problem or requirement, remember to talk to Solar King. Thanks again. The contact form below will ensure that one of our team calls you and answers all your questions, so fill it out or give us a call. Thanks, and we'll move on to the next video.